Oh, just a banger. The Emeralds are closing in on the rest of their season, and our Brianna Chavez tried herself out for the team with some of the staff earlier this week to learn about how the weather impacts and the team's training, how it impacts the team's training and game time prep. Wait, this isn't the weather center. Nothing like spending six months out of the year playing the game known as America's pastime. Some of those games are played in extreme weather conditions. For the Eugene Emeralds, it's no different. The team starts in Arizona with spring training in April, then heads back to Eugene when the season kicks off. Two different weather environments. The challenging one is always the cold one. If you have a lot of guys from Latin American countries where it does not get as cold as it does up here. M staff is challenged with getting the players ready. Uh, the first thing we got to do is we have to get them acclimatized to it. And the best way to do that is just be outside. It started to rain a little bit while we were working out. And I'm like, this is a great time. We're going to stay out here. We're going to be soaking wet and they're going to be cold and chilly. And we're going to work on things like sliding and just playing catch with a wet baseball that a lot of these guys are not used to. Nearly 10 months worth of rainfall throughout the year in Eugene, plus the thunderstorms that managed to pass over the summer months, all bringing in more concerns. During the game, I can help monitor if we need to, is, is like lightning strikes and stuff like that, if that's coming in. Then that conversation happens with the umpires at home plate and the opposing team's manager, just so that you're not caught off guard, like, hey, it might start raining about the sixth, seventh inning if, if the game's going the way it's supposed to. and. You know, be ready for that and umpires just be aware, like watch out for guys slipping and falling and, you know, avoiding any injuries because of the weather. When it comes to adjusting during practice, fundamentals coach Eliezer Zambrano says they take advantage of the rain breaks and windows Mother Nature offers. But when she doesn't... We just adjust and, and try just to do something indoors, just to be prepared uh, for the game and, and cover those little details that we need to cover before. However, athletic trainer Joe Holtzett says living in Eugene threw him a curveball. Air quality because of like the pollen uh, that I wasn't used to. One of the things we also do is we talk to our nutrition people and get local honey. The coaching staff working to make sure the changing seasons don't take a toll on the Emerald season.